Hi, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead and, and Jack. We're back for dinner. So we're going to make one pot cheesy broccoli sausage pasta. It's going to be one that we cook pasta all in one again. You know how nervous I get about that. Now tomorrow we'll not be cooking dinner because, or Saturday, because tomorrow I'm taking one of my sons out for dinner. And then Saturday, well I might cook, might bring you back for the videos on what I'm making yeah, I think I'll do that on Saturday. We're having our other Christmas celebration on Saturday with the other two boys. So the first thing we need to do is I put olive oil in our pan. Put it down to medium. All right, and then you're going to use a chopped onion. I always get nervous when I have to do this, when you do the pasta and everything all in at once. Because I've very seldom ever done that, so it makes me nervous. And then it says to use two cloves of garlic, which I have not a clue. <laughs> so I'm going to use a nice tablespoon of garlic. I'll fill that back in the French jar. And we need a 13 ounce package of sausage kielbasa. You can use whatever kind you want. Now we're going to cook this for three to four minutes and get the um, the sausage and the uh, onions a little bit brown. And then we'll be back. Alrighty, so we're back. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to stir in. Here's one cup of yours, Jack. Two cups of chicken broth. All right, see if it gives you a full two cups. Pretty close. You can add just a little bit of water if you wanted to. All right, and then once you do that, you want to stir in a half a cup of milk, which I have to wait till Jack gets done with the thingy here. <laughs> A measuring cup. Half a cup of milk. There you go, Jack. We actually had enough. I told him, I says, if this doesn't work, <laughs> then here you have to lend me some of your milk. <laughs> because Tom and I don't usually go through very much milk at all, do we, Jack? Hardly none. All right, and then you're going to want to add a cup and a half of broccoli florets. I'm just trying to get you shot this week, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> I like, you like me. <laughs> I do. And then you need a bag of your um, egg noodles. Mine, if you notice, they're all packaged in this. It's so that they last longer. I put them in the food saver. And then you want to use salt and pepper. And then you want to mix it all together. It's not getting it anywhere. Without getting it everywhere, yes, that's a good idea. You notice I swept the floor out here really good? Yeah. Uh -huh. See? I swept the bathroom really good. And the dining room. While I was doing all those oranges. <laughs> Alright, so now once you do that, you want to um, bring it back to a boil, which will do that. And then um, once it's come to a boil, you want to um, lower the heat and simmer it for 10 to 12 minutes until the noodle the noodles have actually um, got done cooking. So we'll bring you back. We're going to let it boil, and then we're going to let it simmer. We'll be back. I am so excited. It worked, and the noodles are done. Here's your cup of cheese. Make sure I got a cup 
here. You want to stir your cup of cheese in there. Another bag of cheese down. <laughs> I got another bag of cheese on the counter. That can go in my fridge. So you want to mix this all in so it'll be nice and creamy. I turned my heat up so did Jack because I figure the noodles are very, very hot. So it should. Did you get more stuff on my floor? No. <laughs> oh, you got one noodle on the stove. That's good you're washing it today. <laughs> Watch the plug on it. All right, so mix all that in so it's nice and creamy. Oh, you guys, this looks amazing. That looked really good, Jack. Yeah. All right, so now the next step is underneath the bag. <laughs> it says a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. But I'm going to use what I want to, so I'm just going to cover it. That doesn't mean use the rest of it, Jack. <laughs> Wanted the best stuff. I know. <laughs> he loves Parmesan. All right, I'm going to take you over here so you can see what it looks like. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh. And because Tom's going to have to stop and look tonight at a um, furnace... He's actually doing it for a trailer park. The guy bought out all these old trailers, so he's putting new furnaces in them. So, let's take a taste, Jack. I want one with everything in it. The broccoli, the meat, everything. Mmm. That's good. <laughs> mm, awesome. That, that is really awesome. That Parmesan cheese really does set it off, though. Yeah. I think. That's my personal opinion. You guys, this is delish. One pot meal. Oh, man. It's really good. <laughs> Maybe I'll eat it all up before Tom gets home. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it is really, really good. This one is definitely one to try. It is very, very delicious. Mm. Yep. And the noodles cooked all in one pan. I am just so amazed by that because, you know, we've always had the one pot you boil. And then, you know, what I, so this is my third time doing that. I'm pretty, pretty impressed by that. So maybe we'll have to do some more one pot meals like that. So enjoy it. Again, it's called the cheesy or one pot cheesy broccoli sausage pasta. And it's really good. So, you guys have a very blessed night. Be a blessing. Bye. <laughs> we'll see you guys later.